It was the trip of a lifetime, and yet, nothing changes and nothing matters. At least, that's how it was until... pizza place you like so much. Do you want to go with us? Not today, guys. I was just going to go home and rest. Hey, well, I mean, if, like, you ever want to hang out with us. No, yeah, I'll be fine. You guys have fun, though. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you later, then. Yeah, see you under. How could this? After all we've been through together? Are you serious? It's not even that big of a deal. Not that serious. I've never felt so betrayed. How can you sleep at night knowing you like pineapple on pizza? Be more ashamed of yourself. Right, you gotta stop looking at me like that. That's why people keep saying that we're a couple. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's just my face. Bro, if you have a crush on me, you can just say something. Yeah, no, sorry. I'm not into dating tiny gremlin people. Shut up, bro. You look like a gremlin. Hey, it takes a lot of work to this guy. Huh? <laughs> just give me some before you finish the whole pizza. Uh, seriously? Is that all you wanted? Yes, I am satisfied now. Hey, hey, uh, I, I've been meaning to ask you something since you've never been wrong before. You've never been, been wrong before. At least I hope you're not right now. Um, uh, does Sarah have a crush on me at all? Uh, no. She actually hates the sight of you and pretends to gag every time you walk by. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go rethink my life choices. <laughs> I'm not that old. Secondly, why would I ever do that? Why? <clears throat> so you don't hurt his feelings. He's gonna get a lot worse heartbreaks in his life than Sarah. She's dumb as a bag of rocks, but even rocks all right, know. Alright, alright, I get it. Can we just get out of here, please? Really? Hey, you okay? You're sure gonna fall over at least this morning. Get over yourself, fine. Hey, the nerd stuff is being nice. Please leave, I don't feel like talking to you right now. Look, man, I know it's been hard since Maria, but you cannot keep doing this. Who are you to tell me? You're just an idiot who can't get a job to save his life. <laughs> Seriously, Ellen? Insults? Look at yourself. There's trash all over the floor, it smells like rotting flesh, and you are not taking care of yourself. Grow up! What does it matter? It's not like I'm gonna die anytime soon. Come on! I, I don't need this for someone who can't even get his life together, so get out. I have known you, you have not once been busy. What changed? It's important. Really? How important could it be? I've been trying to cure it. I told you to drop this. If they can figure out the cure for cancer, then I can cure this. My cells are decaying as we speak. You can't save me. Not! Not yet. I need you to live. Please don't let me want to. I've already accepted the fact that I'm gonna die. Five million? 
15 years now, give or take. All I wanted was to spend my last days with my best friend. Can't you give me that? years I've never been able to predict what they're going to do next. Are you sure? Or do you just think that? What are you talking about? After living so long, maybe you just convince yourself that everyone is the same without actually paying attention to the subtle differences between everyone. After all the terrible stuff that's been happening to you, how are you still able to smile? Because I have friends. You who let me know that I'm not alone through this. Alright, it's official. Your brain is finally decaying. This is serious. I mean it. It was a trip of a lifetime, and yet nothing changes and nothing matters. At least that's how it was until I met you. And for the first time in a long time, I was a happy man.